G'day guys, welcome back to Reach Me or Teach Me. Uh, first things first, apologies for the lack of content lately. It's chaos here, it's school holidays, I've had sleepovers and kids and all sorts of things running our mark. It's just not been conducive to recording. Uh, but thankfully the wife has taken them to the park for a couple of hours so I can get amongst it. Today, uh, request from Mega Raywin, uh, Peter Forsberg retirement tribute video. So uh, let's check out what Peter Forsberg is all about. Thanks very much for the support so far, guys, too. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. In the meantime, let's go. Guessing from the face paint that he's Swedish. I think that's the Swedish flag. <laughs> He was dangerous. He was a dangerous guy. And you'd watch him play, and you knew the switch was on, and you knew someone was in trouble. He's got around that before. look in his eyes. Ah. Peter, yes. He's got that steely eyes, don't he? Like, I mean, I guess that's what they're talking about. Yeah, he was mean. I mean, uh, I mean he, he, he was a very intense player. When he was on the ice, he wanted to win. So he wasn't just a, I guess he's one of the enforcers. He wasn't just a tough guy. He had a bit of grace about him too. That was slick. Time. Right away, Peter's ability to change a game was, was bar not. He could bring so many elements uh, to a game to change it. And Forsberg picks it up. He's short-handed. Forsberg trying to work in. Yeah. Pretty. He was standing still. He took the hit from the bloke moving. Bloke goes flying. He doesn't even move. Like he's on ice skates. So he cops the hit here, but he doesn't even move. Like how do you not? How do you not on a slippery surface like ice get pushed back? <laughs> Bang! Like he doesn't move. How do you not? Doesn't like really nice too. Like uh, it was smooth and slow. Like he didn't even the pass wasn't fast. I don't know. Just that impresses me. Or I actually saw in, the puck. The Long aerial play. In the clear. In the goal. He scores. Oh, what a goal! Oh, I think one of the best regular season moments. The game in Florida. We we had, we were down five nothing. I think uh, halfway through the game and. And then something happened with Pete, uh, he just took off it. I think we won 7-5, and I mean, he was in on every goal. I can't remember, I think he had three goals, four assists, or, or, or something like that. And, but uh, but see him take over in the second half of the game, I mean, it, I mean he absolutely... Is, the, is this, like, max quality? It's uh, a shame. Carried the whole game, carried our team. He willed us to win that game. It was, I mean, you see highlights of that game right there. It was amazing what he did. The Avalanche came into this game with a nine-game undefeated streak on the road. Forsberg, side of the goal, and he scores! Way to stay with it. He actually scored that one from his knees. He's on his knees. And the Avalanche are on the board. To the corner for Forsberg. Two points tonight, Forsberg. Oh, great move there. How's he staying on his feet? Kept his balance. 
still with it. A wraparound try. And a save by Burke now. Forsberg tries again. He scores! How did he get it in? What a play! What a play by Forsberg! Here's a turnover by Marlowe. Forsberg with some speed. Now Forsberg plays off his head. How? He's... He's so tough. I don't understand how the other players, whether it be the offensive or defensive player, that's coming at him. And I just don't... The physics of it don't make sense to me on ice. He scores! Oh, do you believe that? What a play! What a night! What a game! Throw up the brilliant goal! And the Avalanche leads 7-5, a hat-trick for Forsberg. Peter Forsberg came in a nice game with 39 road points. One behind... I mean, I'm sure there's a tech... Sorry, stop it all the time. This is what I do, guys. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, <clears throat> I'm learning all this stuff, so I'm pausing it all the time to give you my thoughts and hopefully get some feedback. Um, that... There's got to be a technique to it. Again, never ice skated before other than down at the local ice skating rink maybe a couple of times in my life. And there's got to be a technique. Like, he's, he's coming more upright at the point of contact rather than lowering his center of gravity but it's almost like he's almost initiating the contact even though they're approaching him i don't know there's there's definitely some technique stuff going on that i'm not au fait with and yager as far as most points on the road he has six points in this hockey game i think both joe and peter understood the moment that's why they were so great in the playoffs and that's why they were so difficult to beat in the playoffs in this game, the number one chance is the Avalanche have had one shot, that's the only shot of the game. Denmark's cutting the back of the score! Forsberg from his cutting into the goal! Oh, the it's it's a little bit of a pair of Van Veenstra! Set up here, run back for Sandy, who's now up on in the middle. Denmark setting the screen. Near side, Forsberg shot! Stop! It looked like a set play, that was nice. Is that Forsberg? Hey! Nice! Goalie. This must be so hard to be a goalie. One of the things that gets missed the most with him was, was his ability to hit people. Phenomenal to watch him attack the blue line. I just have never seen another player play the Forsberg way. Here he comes. Patenge in the clear. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Here's Forsberg. Right to the slot. Wide open. He scores. To the neutral zone. Lead pass breakaway. Here's Peter Forsberg. He scores. He wanted guys to maul him and, and hang off him because he knew that if there's people hanging off him, someone else was open. And he was uh, he was obviously very good at finding those those people. Hey, he kicked it! If you haven't seen my other videos, I've I've asked a couple of times when they've accidentally kicked the puck if you're actually allowed to kick the puck. Someone else was open, and, and he, he was, did that uh, intentionally. He was obviously very good at finding Whack. those those people. Woo! That's cool. I like that. That's a genuine, like, soccer assist. One hand on the stick. They can't knock him down. Backhander rebound to Richards. He scores! It's 1-0, but Forsberg set it up. He was such an unselfish player, he'd love to set up teammates. His passing ability was, was, was second to none. And he created a lot of empty nets for a lot of players, and I'm one of the big benefactors from him. Uh, he got a lot of easy goals thanks to Peter. So... Very, very initial impressions of him. He's not like flashy or electric like a Connor McDavid or an Austin Matthews. 
he's not f- like flashy or, or crazy like an Ovi, but he is, from what I've seen, like the pinnacle of of toughness. Like he's he's just in it. He is there for the battle. He is there for the fight. Whatever it takes, he will do. That's what I. That's the sense that I get from him. One of those like heart and soul. Will will literally give his life on on the ice if he has to. That's that's the feeling that I get. So, I guess what I'm saying with my, my comment before is I feel like he is like the ultimate teammate, the guy that you if you if you said get me somebody, I want him on my team. I feel like that's the name. There was nobody in my era there that could, that could that was as skilled as him, that was that, that could play that that's tough style of yeah. hockey. And and, and I know when I see other friends, I mean, too, he's I the one player they mentioned they hated playing against Peter. Well, my best advice when you're playing against Peter is to to go change and let someone else play against them. <laughs> See, he was how like again. I, I keep I keep saying this. So he's not the aggressor, but he just walks away or skates away from the contact. Still going. These moments that happen throughout Avalanche history, and you and Peter Forsberg seems to be a part of all of them. Hey! So I can tell from the fashion and the hairstyles that he was well and truly big in the 90s. Cease to amaze me how massive that trophy is. It's be heavy as hell. I know it's not solid, but I assume it's not made of plastic. Yeah, this is nineties for sure. The goatee and the center part, and everything. This has got to be nineties. I shouldn't laugh, because like I said, I'd hate to be a guy. <coughs> Which angle is <laughs> Oh, that poor goalie. <laughs> poor goalie. That's slick. Another nutties. Oh, he's not, he's just eyes only. He doesn't care about anything but the puck. He's just. I like him. 
I like him because he's that heart and soul. I reckon I've nailed that that summary of him too. Maybe I've I've undersold his skill set. I heard some one of the commenters say, that, or one of the interviewers say that um no one was as skilled as he was, which is a big statement to make. Um, so he, you know, even if he wasn't the most skilled out there, he certainly had elite skills but it just his toughness is what screams out to me in that video he's just steely toughness he seems like the sort of guy that would take on a, an opponent like six inches taller than him and not at all take a backward step that's what comes across in his in his style of play and like i said live die give his all on the court well, on the court on the ice do anything for his team that's what he seems like. He seems like the ultimate teammate. Well, thank you very much for the recommendation. Hope you appreciated the video, guys. If you haven't already done so, please drop a subscribe, hit the like button, grab that notification bell and shove it in your pocket. And uh, with a bit of luck, we will see you on the next one.